I take a breath, drawing enough oxygen to allow me to move. My throat only moves once. Fortunately, it's not painful. Most of my senses have turned to steel. No matter how hard I try, I'm starting to feel faint. Let's go. It's my final job. I release my left arm. My consciousness is about to fade away. My last projection. I'll use the strongest sword I know to destroy the curse along with the Great Holy Grail. It will be the definite end. No. I can't go back if I use it. I know I'm going to disappear anyway. But I have to try to find some other way as long as I'm alive. I promised that I'll protect Sakura from everything. I can't selfishly die. I want to live with Sakura. So... To, uh. But there's no other way. Sakura's crime, the absolute requirement for Sakura's happiness, is the destruction of this curse. Only a single grain of my consciousness is left. Sakura, I... Toe Kaishi. The promise I made with you... It's the Dark Excalibur. A sword is in my hand. Is body last. It's the voice of someone I can't remember. I can't remember, but I call her name. I know I have to do it, because we'll never return if I don't. I want to live. Name. I have to call her name and stop her. But I want to live. I know will disappear if I not, but I want to live from the bottom of my heart. Oh no, is Idiot gonna die? I don't want that. What are you saying, idiot? Just come back. You won't be able to return if you go any further. I'll take him. So damn, I have to remember her name. But my head's turned stupid and the important name is... The miracle. No, I don't need to see it. Just come back. I... She goes to the center. The person in white becomes the sacrifice, just like in the first ritual to close the Great Holy Grail. Yeah. If that's how you feel, then don't go. I can't sacrifice you. I said we'd live together to make up for all the time you've lived alone. But if one of us has to be sacrificed, then... So she is actually older than him, huh? I remember. Her name. 
Kitsuge's real blood relative. The girl who was left alone because I came and stole him. A girl with silver hair and red eyes that's a bit older than me. Idia. 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 Idia! I can't reach her. I don't hear voices anymore. I can't see anything in this light. And at the last moment... She smiles goodbye and shuts the gate of the Great Holy Grail. The sage cries out, open gates of heaven, bless us and bestow miracles upon us. The sage cries out in regret, close gates of heaven, save us from all our sins and evil. The curtain closes. The millennium comes to a standstill. Our dreams, our hope, was in forbidden failure from the start. The stars fall out of the sky. Space closes up into nothingness. The pathway to the center is shrouded along with our sins. I am, at last, filled with joy. All has been engulfed by darkness. Nothing can hurt you now. At last, you have been set free from the pain that you carried for so long. You may now rest, without a worry on mind. It looks like we are underwater. I can see the sky. I can go into the sky if I reach out just a bit. But there's nothing left. There's absolutely no energy left in my body. I'm sinking. The life she saved is sinking. I clench my fist out of vexation. I feel something cold in my hand. The sensation rouses my mind. Yeah. There's a miracle in my hand. A little magical energy. A small, useless pendant, but it can at least help me reach out with my hands. I reach out. The gentle atmosphere and the warm sun hits my skin. In my hand is the endless blue sky. Epilogue <sighs> Got it, uh. Thump! I drop the bag filled with souvenirs on the ground and stretch. The sky is clear and sunny and the spring sunlight feels great. It's too bright after the darkened interior of the plane, but this is nothing since I'm finally free of the long journey. Huh? <laughs> How long was she gone? And where was she? I stretched myself out and look around the town. It took 25 hours to travel from London to this suburban Japanese town. Oh, she was in London. My body is crammed from being stuffed in a small seat. My butt hurts from all the sitting, and I hit my head on the ceiling during the landing. Moral of the story, don't skimp on travel expenses when taking long trips. Even if I'm dirt poor and Luvia Galita says... Who is Luvia Galita? あら、ミスト大阪。お金に困っているのなら私好きのメイドにしてあげてもよろしくてよ。4番街の染みたれた悪趣味カフェのウェイトレス1年分の月給は保証しますわ。Who the fuck is this? I can't be stingy when I'm coming back to my home country. Yeah, I'll be smart next time. 
I have to return ticket, so I'll have to deal with that worn out plane on the way back. I lift up the bag and start to walk. It's about an hour on foot. It takes a while, but it's good since there's still time until we're supposed to meet. I squint against the wind as I roll my travel bag. I'm back. The hometown seemed to have changed in the year I've been away, but it hasn't actually changed at all. I walk on, delighted by every trifling detail. It's my yearly homecoming, my first time back in this country since I went overseas to London. It's pleasant to walk through the town for the th first time in a year. Well, the happiness doesn't change the fact that the bag is mercilessly heavy. Yes. I take a shower and check my appearance in the mirror. It's not that I'm self-conscious, but it won't do any harm to get fired up since this is the first time I'm seeing them in a year. Who's them? Who's she talking about? Is she talking about Shiro and Sakura? Oh, there's one person that might glare at me, but I'll ignore her just for today. The house is cleaner than I thought, and there isn't much accumulated dust. Sakura might be cleaning this place from time to time. I'm thankful. I really am, but... Shampoo goes in the bath. You don't put shampoo in the study, kitchen, entrance or the yard. No. It's nothing to worry about, but it's pretty suggestive. I dash to the door, try to put on some pumps to show off, give up and change back at my boots and dash out again. I'm supposed to be there at 4. I want to get there early and ins inspect my enemy, but my strength will go down if my hair gets messed up. It's regrettable, but I should face them straight on. Sate. It's an emotional moment, but I just want to forget about everything and run in now that I'm here. I go through the gate and up to the door. Well, let's ring the doorbell. After the ding dong, the door opens. What? It's Ryder. Why, 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 what? Why is she here? Well, the Holy Grail War is over, isn't she supposed to disappear? Or maybe it's like the same thing that happened uh, with Gilgamesh after the Fourth Holy Grail War. You know, she can stay in this world because... Because there is someone who provides her with enough mana. And why is she wearing glasses? Does she have bad eyesight? I'm surprised. Ryder came to the door and she's wearing normal clothes. ただいま。ちょっと早いけど帰ってきたわ。桜はいる。ライダ。ええ。桜は部屋で。タイガは今で待っています。はい。私は桜を呼んできます。<笑> I walk into the hallway. I glance at Ryder while we head to the living room. Could she be considered an ambush? She was beautiful before, but it stands out much more in her normal clothes. It? She? To be blunt, she's really gorgeous. When a woman calls another woman gorgeous, you know it's true. I've seen many beautiful women over there, but I haven't seen anyone as beautiful as Ryder. Well, she's superior to humans, so it's natural that she's extraordinary. She's a servant, after all. The Magi in the Spirit Dispelling Department would be unable to work for three days if they saw her, but they'd lock themselves up in their workshop for a month if they found out she's a familiar. Or she's a familiar now, not a servant. Mm. It's not that I'm blaming her, but if she is, I'm worried about whether she can follow through. 
それこそ心配無用ですさくらに知られるような真似は決して It's a vague answer, but I guess I'll let it slide since she doesn't seem to be troubling anyone. It's a bad habit of mine as a magus. Familiars are strong as rider are so as a Familiars as strong as rider are so valuable that I tend to overlook some mischief. So that is what I was going to say. I was going to say that 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 I was going to 明日の夜でいい Rider nods and heads to Sakura's room. Oh! お帰りなさい、リン。ありがとう。留守中苦労かけたわね、ライダー。ああ。She smiles and leaves. Jeez, I'm speechless. She's a real beauty. あら、いらっしゃい、東坂さん。元気そうで何よりね。はい、お邪魔します。藤村先生もお変わりないようで安心しましたああ今日は遠坂さんが来るって聞いてたからずる休みま今年の首相はしっかりしてるし今日は新入生対策の会議だから問題ないわ新入生対策部員減ったんですか弓道部うん増えたよほら去年はさくらちゃんが首相になってたでしょそれで男の子は増えたんだけど女の子が定員に届いてないのよで遠坂さんは卒業したから知らないかま、今年はかっこいい男の子が首相だからうまく立ち回ればどっさり入ってくるだろうけどねはあ、かっこいい男の子って誰です三つずりさんの弟さんこれがまあ、姉さんとは正反対の昇進者なのよ部活紹介でステージになって立ったら金縛りに合うわね、絶対 I think she's choosing the wrong person for the job Well, Augury has this strict image, so it might be good to appeal to the girls by showing how easy it is. But Ayako's brother, huh? I have no idea that she had one. So, what is the difference between the two? The difference is that 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 the <laughs> I can't tell her all they care about is themselves. Making things worse, Fujimura sensei's concerns are 100% correct at the department I'm in, but I'm going to keep quiet. Wait. Fujimura sensei is looking at me and smiling. What is it, Fujimura sensei? Hmm? Tosaka-san, 大人になったっていうか向こうでいい人でもできた Why does the conversation end up here when girls are talking and she's sharp too? あ、なんか手応えありどうなのよ花のロンドンでしょこうパーッと出会った瞬間に謎の組織に追われて手をつないで大脱走残り10分あたりでロンドン橋が炎上してキスしてお別れとかしちゃってたら承知しないぞいえ別にそういうことはないです、うん、じゃあいい話は一切なしそういうわけではないんですがまあできそうというかできないというか I can't help but give a vague answer I've had no shortage of proposals and I'd at least like to have a research partner but I somehow can't get serious Every time I go out with a guy, I can't concentrate because another idiot keeps popping up in my head. It's unbelievable, but I think every day that it might mean I'm in love with him. What's, who's, who's he, who's she talking about? Is she talking about Shiro? No. It can't be true. Oh, Sakura-chan! I straighten up at once. She looks a little bit different now. Oh, yeah, her hair is longer. Sakura is confused by my reaction. Wow, she hasn't changed a bit. Yes, she has. Hi, Genki Data, Sakura. Sakura nods. And her happiness is written on her face plain as day. She congratulates my return with the biggest smile I've seen. An hour passed. 
We talk about what's happened during the years since I went overseas. So, Sakura, I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 まあ人のいいじいさんみたいだしうちに来るよりはマシだろうけどキレイスクセッサー Who might that be? たまには外に出て冒険してみないとダメになるわよただでさえあんたは怠け性なんだから教師は生きのいいのじゃないとあそれなら大丈夫ですダイダーすごく厳しいからちょっと怠けるとですねすっごく怖い顔するんですああ、いや、そりゃ怖いでしょう、彼女の本気は。She has mystic eyes of petrification after all.I bet your clothes will be turned to stone if she gets mad at you.Oh, why doesn't Fujimura 先生 look well? 藤村先生あ、何ごめんなさい、聞いてなかった。いや、そういうのではないのですが、急に黙り込んでしまったから。気になってあうんさくらちゃんと遠坂さんを見てると素人のこと思い出しちゃって今いればすごくラッキーなのにあの子ったら肝心なところで損してるんだからああ帰り遅いよね素人いつになったら帰ってくるのかな藤村先生 looks out the window with the cup in her hand she is looking off into the distance She's looking up at the clear blue sky. Where is Shiro now? Oh, 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 急に体を動かしたくなったから、道場で素振りでもしてくるわ。Maybe Fujimura Sensei is being considerate. Well, I'm glad she is thinking about us, but I don't know how to start the conversation now. まあいいか。こっちまで気を使うことないものね。聞いておくべきことは聞いておかないと。で、さくらあんたの方はどうなのよ。あれから2年、なんとかやっていいでしょ。Oh, so two years have ですけどいろいろなことを素直に受け止められるようになりました罪の意識で潰されるのは逃げなんだって私は私のできることをして少しずつ頑張っていこうと思いますそっかちょっと見てきたけど町も完全に元通りだものね2年前の傷跡は消えていておかしな事件ももう起こらない私の役目をさくらに押し付けて教会に行っちゃったけどそれはそれでよかったってことかはい姉さんの代わりは大変でしたおかげでこの1年間ずっと強くなれた気がします She must mean mentally Well it just means people are better of moving around than sitting there and worrying けどそういう姉さんはどうなんですかなんかいろいろこたこたしてたって聞いてますけど。私？おお、ごたごたしてたって言えばしてたけど。Where should I start? I'll have to start two years ago. Holy Grail War. It's been two years since the war Sakura and I were involved in. The Great Holy Grail was destroyed, and the foundation of the Holy Grail War along with it. The search for the Holy Grail in this land has been permanently stopped, and the city of Fuyuki has regained its peace. But it didn't end for me there. The whole event on the land I supervise. The land of Fuyuki belongs to my family, but the Magic Association approved it, so it's not completely ours. The Magic Association demands that all divine mysteries are be hidden, and we broke that rule to pieces. First, the enormous damage the Holy Grail War caused to society. Next, the assassination of the master dispatched by the Magic Association. Finally, the activation of the Swirl of Origin that the Association measured. 
Well, the first two are Kide's responsibility and he is the supervisor they sent, so I had my excuse. But I can't duck responsibility for the third one. The appearance of the gate from the Holy Grail, a ritual leading to the origin, needs to be conducted under the supervision of the Magic Association. And by their rules, I'm a criminal. They detected its activation in the far eastern land. They were surprised and happy, but it suddenly disappeared. They were mad that we opened the gate, but I hear they really wanted to kill me since we closed it even though we succeeded. Even though I was busy dealing with the aftermath, I was taken to London's clock tower. And that's how the one-man court started, in a meeting room that could hold 300 people. There were heads of every department, along with Matt Shai, who wanted the Tosaka family's rights once I'd been sentenced. It was more of a circus than a trial. I was determined and was even making my escape plans, but there were people that wanted to save me while there were people who wanted to kill me. In the face of everyone's condemnation. The old man, who slightly outranked all who were present, appeared and nullified all the charges against me. It's not that the he took the blame in my place. It's give and take. Out of everything who he could have done. Yokaro, they were deshi o toru koto ni suru. Kyoju suru no wa san nin made da. Kaku bumon kyogi no sue, mikomi no aru mono senshitsu se yo. Who is this person? He dropped a bombshell. I mean, a long missing sorcerer appeared and said he'd take apprentices on top of it. The whole place became a riot. Completely forgetting about me, everyone ran to the departments, panicking over who should be selected. And he said something ridiculous like that. Grandmaster, I played dumb, because I thought he'd kill me if he found out what went on. Sorcerers don't tell others about their sorcery. My instincts told me he'd kill anyone who followed in his footsteps without mercy. But my enemy's no ordinary person. He pits my head and praises me. As expected from the great master, the old man who traveled across many parallel worlds was a wholehearted guy. Oh, is this, uh, this, uh, this Schweinork guy? Yes. The truth is, I can recreate the gem sword. I com comprehended the blueprint and the theory during that fight, so I can copy the sorcery if I have the needed material and time. Well, I need a lot of money for it, so it's nothing I can accomplish in tens of years. Anyway, I got to walk away free. In addition, I got a free pass to the clock tower, so I named Sakura the supervisor of Fuyuki and left for London. It's been a year since then. Life at the tower knocked me around a bit, but like Sakura, I'm slowly expanding my territory. So this So the air tenses up. After the incident, Sakura and I were carried to the surface and managed to survive. Ryder took me to my house and replenished my magical energy. My magic crest will keep me alive even by force if I still have magical energy. I wasn't able to eat for a while, but I healed quickly. Sakura suffered after effects from her connection to Angra Mainyu and from the fact that he was gone. He? She didn't panic, nor did she get depressed. She pretended to be alright so that he could come back at any time. Oh, so what happened? Shiro didn't make it out of the cave after all? But, but it doesn't seem like he's dead. Because they don't talk about him like he's dead. 
What happened to him? If she'd freaked out instead of acting like that, I could have done something. But that's all in the past. Time passes and the days slowly change. Sakura graduated and she's saying she'll stay in this town a bit longer. I'm going to spend my whole vacation here and I have to fly back to London in a week. Why did I come back to this place? A year ago. No, a lot of things happened two years ago. My memory stops a year ago, but I was a frequent guest here until I graduated. Is that why? It feels like if I turn towards the kitchen, I'll see him there, cooking with a knife in hand. An amateur magus who was involved in the Holy Grail War. He actually won and... Uh, there, there he is. He's still alive and well now. Shiro comes into the living room, arms laden with groceries, and... Of course, our eyes meet. Crap, I'm about to burst out laughing. It's totally obvious that he took a deep breath in the hallway and tried to act as normally as he can. Wait, why am I panicking too? And Sakura is laughing at us for that. Sakura says something scary. But he's loaded down with groceries. Jeez, what are you going to do with that? We can't eat that much, you idiot. Oh, he's got that familiar look where he wants to say something but can't. He goes into the kitchen and puts on his apron. This has been the scene here for a year. No, for half a year. Why only half a year? And the master of this house goes to make dinner for the freeloaders. Well, I look forward to finding out how much he got back to normal in the last year. Oh, so they graduated together? So that means he got held back a year, huh? I see. Then there's nothing else I can do. Well, he didn't need our help in the first place, but I was able to come up with excuses for why he missed school for a year to deceive Fujimura-sensei. So, if you ask me why he is alive, I have to say it's a sorcery. Imeshiro's body was destroyed. Between the influence of Archer's arm and the strain of projecting beyond his limits, his magic circuit was broken to pieces. It was a death that even the Holy Grail couldn't reverse. But he's still moving around like that because the Shiro over there is his copy. No, that's not right either. Anyway, Shiro's body died. That Holy Grail can't revive a dead body. The Holy Grail, Ilya, can only use the divine mystery called the Third Sorcery. Ilya managed to revive Shiro's soul with that. She revived, a rev she revived his soul and gave him a body free of wounds. You might not believe me, but this is the Third Sorcery we are talking about. It's not just putting your sh spirit into someone else's brain and controlling them. Once you give it a container or a body, the soul manifested by the third sorcery will take perfect form. It's the genes of the soul, not those of the body. Preserving Shiro's soul, Ilya revived him by inserting it into a container. 
but it wasn't perfect. Maybe Ida's third sorcery didn't match the original. A few days after the cavern collapsed, the Shiro Ryder found was just a bit different from the Shiro we knew. No, she didn't find him, she picked him up. No, it was more like she plucked him out. I was surprised and wondered how it could be possible. But if I think about it, the body that's cooking right now is being remotely controlled by his soul. Memories, mind and magic circuit are actually in the soul. So the body is only a terminal to move around and the command structure is invincible in that world. Well, we experimented with a lot of things in the first half a year. It's not like he'd grow if we watered him and we weren't equipped to make a homunculus. So we ended up selling the books at the Mato house and obtaining a body left by a famous puppet maker, leaving us where we are now. Don't take this the wrong way, Shiro is as human as the rest of us. He can go get a surgery at hospitals, drink cold medicines and die when he is killed. Souls can be put into bodies to give them life, but the souls will be fixed to the body in exchange. In short, he is like a servant that can operate without a master. The only difference is that he is living in this age. He will grow old and die of old age and he l cooks like he is doing now. He is the same Emiya Shiro. でも、Wait a minute, that puppet maker she's talking about. Wasn't there someone like that uh, in the Garden of Sinners movies? You know, Kara no Kyokai? What was her name? The, 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 the woman with the red hair. Toka? Was that her name? Wasn't she also a puppet maker? It's been a while since I watched those movies. And way, Garden of Sinners is also one of Type Moon's works, so it might be possible that Fate Stay Night and uh, Garden of Sinners take place in the same universe. So it would make sense if it's actually the same person. Oh, the soul will override the body no matter how good the body is. So there may be places that aren't functioning properly and I don't think it will get any better. That's a shame. Why are you getting embarrassed? Sakura? That's right. Sakura's body still has after effects from Angra Mainyu. Even with the contract broken, she's still a holy grail. She was connected to Angra Mainyu, so she's still connected with the other side. Vast amounts of magical energy are collecting in Sakura's body and she has to periodically let it out. It's because of that magical energy that she can keep Ryder even after the Great Holy Grail's destruction. But she still can't use it all, so she must be giving the surplus to Shiro. Shiro's current body has a very weak magic circuit, so he would return to how he was before without her help. <sighs> There are lots of problems to living normally, but Sakura's constitution is a huge advantage if she's planning to live as a magus. Shiro is a successful example of the third sorcery and he should be able to use his reality marble if he starts training. Sakura can use her abilities as the Holy Grail, although only in part. And she even has Ryder. And I can manage a copy of the second sorcery. We're invincible! I wish they'd hold a magic tournament at the association. We'd easily win, so maybe they could just hand us our prize money, about 500,000. Pounds, of course. And don't deduct income tax because we are Japanese. Mm. Crap, I'm beginning to feel like it. We'll be able to do whatever we want after that, full of happiness and hope. I'll use the money to reproduce the gem sword, leave that crappy place and come back to this town. Then we can... Well, 
I quickly give up on the idea. I think it's too fanciful. I like my life and I'm looking forward to the changes in the future. And it's not like we'll be apart forever. I'm sure they won't lead an ordinary life in this peaceful town with all the potential problems they have. I get up from the cushion. I can't take things slow. I can only stay here for seven days, after all. I can't skip a single one of these dinners. I reject his protests. I'm smiling more than I really mean to as I put on the apron that's prepared for me. I roll up my sleeves and head to the kitchen. Oh, before that, I remember the most important thing I need to verify. It's been two years. I turn back to my younger sister. Sakura. No! <laughs> she also quite changed. Her full smile is perfect. That made my whole trip worthwhile. She gives me some of her happiness and I look up at the sky. Winter passed before I knew it and it's spring. The scenery is dyed pink without a trace of the cold days. I keep walking on, waking what we've lost and what we've gained. Well, the story in this town has ended, but our story is just beginning. The end roll will come in the distant future. It looks like it will be another clear day tomorrow and my vacation's just starting. Let's look forward to the new day, the new future. I can see us leisurely walking down the hill road. Well, let's go see the flowers we promised to see. So the winter went by and spring came along. Nature is in its full bloom and there is nothing left that reminds you of the hard cold days. Sash away both what you lost and gained, your for life continues on. Now then, the story that unraveled in this town has reached its conclusion. New stages and people are waiting for us. It's over! I can't believe it. It's really over. Or is it? Because apparently Heaven's Fear has not only one ending, it has actually two. I'm interested in how the second ending is different from the one we experienced just now, which I think was a really satisfying ending. The only thing that I don't like about it is uh, that Elia had to sacrifice her life at the end. You know, because that's kinda sad. Maybe she can keep her life in the second ending. Well, we'll find out after the credits. I just have to go and look up how you actually get the second ending. So I will see you then.
Okay, now we are back at what would be the last choice when you read Heaven's Fear for the first time. But according to the walkthrough I found, another choice will appear near the end of this route when you play this route again. Which will decide if you get the true ending, which is the first ending we already got, or the normal ending, which is the second ending we are about to get now. You know, that is actually kinda odd, because normally it's the normal ending you get first. Well, anyway... Let's just kill Saber for the second time and to go on with this. Okay, so let's skip ahead and see if we'll get the new choice. Go to next. Yup. First we... Free Sakura from Angra, mind you. And then the fight with Kirei. And here we are. This is the choice I was talking about. And if you want to see the true ending again, you have to choose Is that the way? But if you want to see the normal ending, you have to choose do it. So, let's do it. My consciousness is breaking apart. It's only a matter of time before the cavern collapses. The ceiling's crumbling down and the ground is becoming a pile of rubble. My joints are stiff. It hurts to bend my limbs. My nerves are hot. Hundreds of blades are growing out of my body. An inescapable death by skewering. I am the bone of my sword. I already knew that. The time bomb was activated when I used projection. This end has already been determined. I am crumbling apart. I'll shatter if I continue. I'll shatter to pieces like so many rocks on the ground. I'll still make it. My body's dying, but I won't lose myself for about a day if I stop now. Only a day's worth of life prolongation. But right now I would love to have something so insignificant. Just a day, an hour or even a minute. If I can live, I want to stay here as long as I can, no matter how miserable it may be. <laughs> A crack. Not outside, but inside. The nucleus accumbens in my cerebrum breaks. The part that administers uh, the principle of behavior. The linkage to pleasure. The most important part of life. Life is the pursuit of pleasure. Without it, humans would become beasts. <laughs> it's not convenient. I still want it. I want to keep my memory for as long as I can. But it's disintegrating. The pain of eating my fingers doesn't stop the memories from fading. I disappear the more I walk on. I won't make it. Even if I do make it there, I probably won't remember what I need to do. So I should stop here and wait for help. <sighs> but somewhere outside my body, there's a big reason. Sakura. So I have to fulfill my role. Time has stopped. There is no pain. I am taking a whole day to make just one step. I forget how to breathe. There is no pain. I could breathe if I had all day to do it. I lose the meaning. What was pain? Organic matter turns into inorganic substance. I manage to keep myself. I reach out for the wall to keep from falling. All the shards of my existence are gathered onto a tiny foothold. There is no way it will support me. The foothold breaks. There is no principle of behavior. There is no meaning of behavior. There is no meaning of existence. I don't feel any fear. The meaning behind my existence disappears. I am not alive anymore. My arms won't move for any reason. Torres. Words come out of my mouth. 
there's something still remaining even after language. Neopelium and Cerebrum are lost. Oh. The body dies, but the soul remains. Spinning the eighth verses, the load transmits from the body to the soul and more meaning is. And Emiya Shiro dies. The standing figure is no different from a machine. It's programmed to swing the sword, but it's a corpse with no desire to move. But even without human intelligence, there are machines that weave many dreams in this world. There was a promise. Once winter's over when it's spring. A recitation of words without meaning. A small hope that I remembered until the very end. Epilogue. And I wake up. I don't feel tired and my body and mind are refreshed. Senpai. We should have been sleeping together, but he's not in my in the futon. I look at the clock and it's already ten o'clock. Oh so this is from Sakura's perspective. Huh? <laughs> Pretending to understand, I get up. I'm surprised by how light I feel. What's wrong? All he did was make love to me, but it feels like the chains have been removed from my limbs. <sighs> my body burns with heat as I recall what happened. I slept with Senpai last night. Senpai lost one of his arms after coming home from the forest, but everything's going to go well now. I feel great, so I can have Ryder do more. Nothing bad will happen now. Senpai and Nisan are here. Everything's going to turn out fine. Or not? A bad dream. Why did I dream about the worst possible outcome? Senpai. The wind feels good. The porch is filled with light and walking here lightens my heart. My body feels light as a feather. Maybe I lost some weight while I slept. To be honest, I'm on the heavier side. You're what? And I'm fighting against the scale every night. But it's never done any good and if Senpai says something like... Sakura... I'll faint, so it will be great if I'm to lose some weight. I don't think she needs to lose weight. Senpai. I feel amazingly refreshed and the world looks different just by walking around. My body is so light. The air tastes good. My heartbeat feels so warm. It's a feeling of freedom as if the poisons in me were taken out. The worm grandfather implanted within me. The black mud entangling my heart. The dream stuck in my mind. Everything disappeared and... <laughs> There's no one here. The hallway is quiet. <laughs> There's no one here. Warm sunlight. There's no one here. A cool breeze. No way. It's impossible for nobody to be here. Because that was just a bad dream. But the last time I saw him, his body was breaking apart. Yes, it has to be a lie. A body that wasn't human. There's no way he can move with that body, so he should be waiting for me somewhere around here. But, 
The date I saw in the living room was ten days since that event, the end of February. <laughs> yeah. So did Shiro really die? I fall to my knees. I understand everything now. No, I knew it the moment I woke up, but I pretended not to notice. My mind whites out. I feel like I'm about to break, but I can't. All I can do is cry. That's all. I'm a coward and a crybaby, and I don't know how else to make up for it, so I can't even appreciate the fact that I'm alive. That's the end of the long winter. I'm freed from the chains that bound me for eleven years, but I lost my only guide. <sighs> the boy bluntly said this, an amazed expression and a deep sigh. She was prepared for that. The girl associated herself with the boy knowing that she was going to be hated. But somewhere in her mind was a thought that she didn't want to be hated by the boy and at the same time... <laughs> As she watched him huff to hide his embarrassment, she wanted to value that thought. It's spring. Ah,ようやく人段落ついたわね、桜。教会の調査も終わったし、綺麗な後釜はいい人だし、私たちは後釜なしだし。well, not really. Nisan strong. She was more sad than I was, but she got her energy back as spring arrived. I appreciate her concern. I've always dreamed of being able to live with Nisan in her house. I can't bear spending the night by myself, and I don't know what will happen to me after Nisan goes home today. But that's why it's even more important to grow up. Before heading home, Nisan tells me she'll be waiting for my visit. It must have been caught in her hair when she came here. A pink flower petal flutters through the air. It wasn't true, but I wasn't skilled enough to say I was good at it. I read a lot of books before I came here and I'd had my share of cooking classes. But I was really, really scared of having someone eat something I'd made. So you could have night is the basics turned out to be rice balls. We made them together. I thought he was making fun of me. I sulked a bit. But when I looked up, I saw he was serious and I couldn't get mad at him. And. He ate the rice balls I just made. He ate something I made and thanked me for the meal. I don't know what he wanted to teach me, but I felt less awkward starting the next day and I wanted him to eat my meals again. It's spring. I got much more money than I expected when I sold the mansion. It's more than enough to maintain this house. I went and asked Fujimura Sensei's father to give me the right to the land, making sure I can keep this house.
I just shake my head. Fujimura sensei shrugs. And leaves the house with a motherly smile. I recall a painful memory. Sakura, when the gota gota is over, where do you go? Do you ever go anywhere else besides the gota gota? Sometimes I go to the beach to play with my friends. In dead seriousness, he said, "There's nowhere we can't go if we put our minds to it." I smiled since he was so pure. Okay, so I'll make a promise. Sakura's body is healed. When the gota gota is over, I'll be able to go. Yes, the promises. It's spring. I think I haven't seen someone for a while now. It's painful to be alone. My memories keep looping in my head, and I want to turn the power off. It's fortunate that I don't miss people, but then, why? Yes, I have to do something. It's painful to be by myself or to be with others, but I have to do something I can. But I don't know how I can atone. I can't think of anything I can do for others, so this will be for myself. I'll grow one flower every year for the promised day. It's spring. I'm getting used to being alone, and it's getting fun to be with others. But it's still scary. Talking to someone makes it feel like the whole world is condemning me as punishment. But I'm safe. From now on, I'll protect all the things I can from Sakura. Sakura will protect me. He's really selfish. I think it's the worst when he says whatever he wants and doesn't actually protect me. So I'm not going to forgive him. I'm going to tell him a lot of selfish things to bother him. Hmm, but I'll forgive him. He says it's hypocrisy, but his words alone calm me down so much. He is irresponsible, but I love him, and he loves me. It's spring. It's spring. It's spring. It's spring. No one comes here. I'm not sad, but I'm waiting so calmly for the spring that I sometimes doubt my sanity. I'm not sad because I have certainty. I believe I'll be compensated for all my pains. But there is one worry. I hope I can be healthy until that day. It's spring. I haven't been able to move my body to my satisfaction recently. I go out into the yard and sprinkle water like always. Sensei, my student comes. A student came and asked for instructions, even though I taught myself and don't have much skill. The Tozaka's new hair is a good girl, just like Nisan. The lights are scattered. I sit in my usual rocking chair and stare at the yard. Ah, Sensei, no need to cry. That's something that's fun for me too. I can only recall words now, but words become stories, repeating the good old days. The sun's warm, and time passes by gently, and sometimes like torture. I keep planting seeds for the promised day, flowers of redemption. I'll wait for spring here until I'm absolved. And it's spring again. The years are as long as a blink of an eye. I close my eyes and open them. The hill is covered with cherry blossoms. The boy, appearing just like he was before, is waving his hand on the familiar hill road. Wait, what? Weedy? That's the second ending? 
Yeah. I'm not really satisfied with this one. Sakura just waiting all her life for Shiro to return, although he's dead and he never will return. And what was that last scene about? Did she die and met Shiro in the afterlife or something? Also, what happened to Ilya? They don't even mention her anymore. So yeah, the first ending was definitely better. Anyway, I guess that's really it, huh? We finished the Heaven's Fear route of Fate's Day Night. But uh, this playthrough isn't really finished yet because... Because I want to get all the bad endings that I missed on the Fate route and the Heaven's Fear route. And we'll start doing that next time on Fate's Day Night. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.